Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Stellaris. We are playing as the Terrapin Conglomerate, and we are getting ready to vassalize the Latrepian Empire. They, uh, they have audaciously claimed Hicksam and... Jangle? Where the heck is Jangle? Ah, Jangle, over there. Not Orthama, though, yet. I'm sure that'll come. Anyway, uh, the fleets are repositioning. They were over here ready to uh, take on the Wakigi Protectors, but I guess that'll wait until I go uh, colonize one of these uh, Gaia worlds, so. Ships upgraded. Ships upgraded. That's just Ships upgrades upgraded. on a, a space station. <clears throat> Ooh, pardon me. Sorry about that. Yep, it's a deal. We'll keep that going. Uh, Trepian do have an 11k fleet around there. Where does that go? That goes over there. Okay, well... These should defend it. Hopefully that'll be okay. I'm sure it will be. I mean, you know, what's... Really, what's the the thing to to worry about? Not much, really. I will I will beat them. I will crush them. It will not even be a um, a fight. Uh, I am kind of thinking about uh, getting these guys or these guys integrated, though. That might be a good idea soon. Complete. I guess once I get down here, that'll be okay. Uh, then we can start focusing on that. Construction complete. Construction complete. Okay, you have done so. Let's go ahead and uh, start building that. Okay, we did get uh, this built. Uh, let's see, you are unhappy, which is a shame, but nothing we can really do about that. Let's go ahead and get the Alien Zoo built. Let's get the Paradise Dome built. You can grow into that. Grow into that. I completely forgot to build robots. Let's build the robots. There we go. Then we'll upgrade that, get more uh, unity. You need some stuff. Hydroponics is fine. I mean, I could stop building farms, but I like fast growth. I still don't have five pops here, really? Yeah, I only have four. Huh. Uh, breathing Rift. Minerals. All right, we'll take some more minerals. That's fine by me. Research complete. Not that we need them. Okay, there's the Cloud Lightning Conduits. Go with uh, Gravitational Analysis. We can also get Alien Tourism. And I think I had a construct. Well, there's you. Okay, we've got one over here. There's none over here, so... Let's see what we're looking at uh, build-wise. Eh, it does take influence. That's a shame. That is a shame. We've got tons and tons of... Uh, um, energy and minerals, but because we need influence, we can't build them. That's one of the reasons why I tend to pop up the number of uh, gateways to a really high number. Unfortunately, they don't always spawn in very good places. I, mean, I suppose it kind of makes sense that that might happen. Why are you so unhappy? Oh, 
because you're filthy spiritual. Disgusting. Research complete. Administrative efficiency. Got core sector systems plus one. Uh, let's see. Lifespan would be good. Army health don't care about. Fleet command limit would be okay. Naval capacity, eh. With leader lifespan. Actually, you know what? Cancel this. I'm going to need to go like between episodes and get visitor centers. They're not going to produce as much energy, so we are going to take a hit there. <laughs> like it matters. Um, but we'll get to... Uh, uh, Something like might be up to five now. Let's see. Um, yeah, that's two, so that's producing uh, six. So that's actually really good. So yeah, we're looking at we're going to be looking at uh, um, six-ish more uh, influence on every planet, give or take. Five to six, I guess. But I will have to go through later and do this, because we've got a lot of planets in the sector. So that'll be between episodes. Although I can do some of the ones that are just sitting around here. Waiting on an upgrade there. All right. That should help out. Construction complete. So, uh, Federation, form Federation, uh, Federation naval capacity counts for twice as much, and unity increases by 5% per member of our Federation. Construction complete. None of those are going to matter. They, those are those are all worthless. I, and I don't like that. Like there should be something, a passive benefit that you get, even if you don't form a federation. Because federations are terrible with AIs. the The AI does not know how to play well in a federation with a player. There, I, in my opinion, there is there is no good reason to form a federation with AIs. Now, if you're talking about other players, tons of good reasons. But with AIs, no. Okay, we are done over here. Which also means that we want to uh, upgrade that, and we want to upgrade that. Construction complete. Construction complete. They've immediately claimed Saruta. Oh, we just had someone die. Let's go ahead and get those. Uh, Rose Chan has died. Well, that is unfortunate. Um, I have no idea where your ship is. Right, it is still missing in action. Okay, well, we will be recruiting a new scientist. Um, time to cycle them until we get one that we want. I did not mean to do that. And I can't. Okay. Let's do it through here. Research complete. Alright, we got uh, Devastator Torpedoes. Let's go ahead and get the uh, Neutronium Materials. Uh, we're still going to need to wait before we uh, take out... Actually, you know what? Maybe what I'll do is, rather than this... 
We'll go up here. You need a scientist in a uh, science ship to use the experimental subspace navigation, which does kind of suck. Building a new home. Still nothing good. Okay, we get, uh, again, uh, the rift near subspace rupture SX-77 spews out something new. This time it is mostly metal debris, perhaps from some ancient battle. It is ours for the taking. Observation of the rift will continue. Uh, 500 energy credits, credits and 150 uh, engineering research. All okay. Not that we need it. Uh, Sapient AI Assistant is pretty good. Um, I'm going to keep you in the list. Just want Meticulous. Is that so wrong? And we got Custom AI Assistant. That's not as good. Capped out of minerals, that's fine. Got another sapient AI assistant. We do only have four in the pool. Complete. It takes a really long time to get to... Uh, Meticulous these days for some reason. Not sure what the chances are for any of the uh, given things to actually spawn. I always go for the eager person because it's cheaper. Not that it matters with uh, the amount of stuff that I'm sitting on at the moment, but. Oh, and someone else has died. Breathing Rift closed. The latest data report from the Rift's observation probe tells us that the Rift has vanished. After drawing its last breath, the Rift closed and left behind not even a trace of its energies. Unfortunate, we do gain uh, 350 physics research. And a scientist, Kenny, has died. Alright, well, Kenny, it's not as important that we get someone so... There we go. Just shoveling them all back into the Soylent system. Spark Genius, although a uh, sapient AI assistant is better. Not that it matters, because it's basically the exact same thing on uh, research anyway. It just means that someone is more flexible. Come on, where are my meticulous people? All right. Well, worst case scenario is that if this, if I don't get a meticulous person soon, um, I do have some meticulous people who are currently just sitting around assisting research. And I'll go grab one of them. Of course, they're probably pretty close to death, too. Yep, just fire a spark of genius person. 
What do we got? We got uh, sapient AI assistance on all the people doing research, I think. Or spark a genius, yeah, so. It's all fine. Maniacal, awful now. Another eager. Come on, I have seen so many of so many of these other ones, and yet no meticulous. Come on, game. We're up to three sapient AI assistant people, which is one of the best traits you can get on a scientist. There's a custom AI assistant. There we go, finally. All right. Welcome back, Rosetran. Right, uh, helps if I am on the uh, proper ship. Uh, you, this is research. There we go. And just teleport up there. Thank you. You can go ahead and build that. Alright. Next month I can build this. I do want to get in closer to these guys. Get that. Get a border, that sort of thing. Construction complete. Okay. Okay. Uh, most of our fleets are in position, not all of them quite yet. Construction complete. Construction complete. Keep building out these uh, these worlds. I got a world terraformed into an ocean world. Out there. Is there a colony ship uh, moving? Yes, there is. Okay. Although, where are you going? Teropia. Well, I've already done... Okay. You know what? Then let's colonize out here. Let's get the Yachu guys. The Rakodon. Never remember what their uh, species name actually is. Let's see, that's done up there. This will come down here. Okay, we can get uh, the Paradise Dome. You can have the Visitor Center. You can have the energy grid. That should be good there. You're done growing. Mining network, mineral processing, and finally, hydroponics farm. Other things. Other things. That was a bugged out notification icon. Let's 
start building up some of the uh, science there as well. Okay, let's take a look at uh, our fleets. You are still coming down there. Construction complete. You're going over there. You are also up there. And you're moving over there. All right. Capped out on minerals again. Complete. Which is all fine. Can I actually build any more titans? I can. Construction complete. All right, let's build two more titans, and then we'll we'll have them around to figure out what fleets to put them in. Okay. Rose Chan has returned here. We've got uh, unemployment because you've just moved here. You are that stuff. Well, let's actually ha give you a stronghold. Build out that stuff. Handshake protocols activated. Okay, you want uh, terraforming gases? Sure, I can. I can do that. You can just cap out my uh, my stuff. That's fine. Like I care. It's not a big deal. Cap out both of them. It's really a shame that there's not much to do with your energy credits and minerals at this point. I gotta really like a way to uh, start converting that stuff into influence or... Uh, unity. Like, just giving away um, uh, energy credits and, and minerals, uh, shouldn't that give you influence? I mean, <laughs> it's an act of charity on other nations. That's, that's influential, right? No, not really. It's Fine. I don't know. I mean, just something to do with them. That's not just converting them from one to another. Which can be useful. I mean, obviously, I do still... I would still want that, but... Alright, what, uh, what just got upgraded? Okay, all of these things did. So, let's see. Oh, actually, you need uh, Citadel upgrades. Founding a new home. Let's get all of that. They have uh, claimed Vista. Uh, Why didn't that pause it? Okay, Wakagi Protectors. They have dis decided to declare war, humiliate. What can I do? Can I really only do a humiliate? I guess that's all I can really do. Okay. If I do that, I can get another one, right? Yes, I can. Not that it, you know, matters that much. That's bugged out, but I figured I might as well do it anyway. Let it decide to do what it what it wants to. Okay, so looks like we are moving all of our fleets back. Not the Xeon fleet. 
Okay, what uh, what is it going to be the fastest? If we get there... That does eventually get them all there. Well, let's get them there anyway, because that'll be... Uh, um, that'll be right at their home world. We can move around other places from there, I think. Okay, well... Let's also go in and take out the uh, automated dreadnought here. I was kind of thinking that they might not attack, but apparently they have decided to. A little bit worried about the uh, uh, neutron sweep, but we'll probably be okay. So are they actually moving? They are actually moving. Healthcare, recycling, education campaigns. Okay, so let's see. You are... I hate that it just says attacking Starbase. And then you don't actually know which Starbase it's a, they're attacking. Well, one of them is certainly going up here. Yeah, spice must flow. Automated Dreadnought, a single massive warship has been discovered patrolling the Samnovic system. No life signs can be detected on the vessel, but it is emitting a very strong power signature and appears to be bristling with weapon systems. It does not respond to hails. Caution is advised. Look at the size of that thing! Ah, oh, it'll, be, it'll be easy to take out. We'll probably lose a few ships, though, in the process. Alright, well, um, so we have a... Uh, a little war on our hands. All we can get out of this is humiliate with these guys, though. Um, which is unfortunate. Um, I'm definitely going to have to get uh, a Colossus if I want to take these guys out. Or just wait until War in Heaven comes up. Oh, hello. You've already hopped in down there. Because you jumped. Alright, well that's going to be a little bit annoying. Alright, uh, how about you two... You two chase that one. What are we looking at? Mm. Quite a bit of a trip. Oh well. We'll see how it goes. Uh, anyway, that will be next time as we fight the Wakegi Protectors. See you then, everyone.